All right, well, welcome back. So it's almost April, so it's that time to uh, talk about the games coming up for next month. So in this video, we're going to talk about 10 Nintendo Switch games that I'm excited for uh, that I think make April a great month to play some games. Now remember, every person's game opinion is different. Uh, so these are the games I'm excited for, and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, if I missed one, or I just... You know, maybe I just didn't look at a game good enough. I'll leave it in the comment on which ones you're excited for, and I'll go check out the trailer. All right, so first up on this list, Darksiders. So I've never played these games before. So for me, seeing it come out for the Switch, it looks like a good game. I know, you know, it's an older game. It's a remaster or however they want to word it. Uh, but it's another Switch game. So for someone like me who didn't play it on another console, it looks good. And it looks good on the Switch. So, portable game, dock game, yeah, can't wait. Um, that's really it. Darksiders. So, let's move on. Alright, so I'm going to butcher this name, but Mexternation Force. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. Uh, it looks interesting. It kind of looks like, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call it like a Mega Man style game. You know, you get these big bosses you have to defeat, you know, follow the... Uh, pattern kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. It looks it looks cool. It looks interesting. Uh, I guess Cuphead would be another way of saying it. Uh, basically, it just looks like you battle these big box bosses and you f just got to survive until they die. Uh, it looks interesting. I don't know if I like it, but it looks interesting. So, you know what? It's coming out in April and it looks good. So, yeah. All right. Let's move on to number three. All right. So, April 12th. Big day. Another Toy Con comes out. So, Nintendo's VR Labo kit comes out on that day. That's probably my biggest one for the month that I'm, I like. Alright, second biggest one. We'll talk about the other one later. Uh, that looks interesting, that I really want to test out. And it's probably going to be a day one buy for me, because I haven't bought any of the Labos yet. So, I might as well try the one that interests me the most, because I've been waiting to try Labo. But this time, definitely going to have to try it. So, yeah, Nintendo Labo. I mean, all the mini games on there, I think it's going to look look be fun to play for short burst yeah will it be a long-term game probably not but it looks interesting i'd like to see what nintendo did all right so the next game on the list final fantasy 10 and 10 2 hd for the switch having final fantasy games on the switch i love um, i'm a big final fantasy 8 fan i played 10 beat 10 never played 10 2 so for me I like the fact that I can play 10 2 now, and it's on the Switch, it's on Nintendo, and yeah, it looks good. If you've already played it, it's probably not going to be for you, but I haven't played it yet, so I'm excited. Alright, now this one was just revealed on the uh, Nintendo Direct, Indie Tile Direct, I guess, the other day. Katana Zero. Uh, it looked great in the Indies presentation, and it made me excited. I'm like, you know what, this looks like a fun game. 2D, I, I, I like my 2D games more than anything, just because I feel like, not simpler to play, but, I don't know, I just get into them differently than I do in the 3D worlds. So there's just something about it, I like sitting down and playing them more. So you know what, Katana Zero, coming on the 16th, can't wait. Alright, now on the 18th, um, this one's a big one for me, Cuphead. This is the one I'm more, most excited about. I said when I first saw this trailer, I'm like, if this game could ever come out on the Switch, I want to play it. How that ever happened, who knows? But now it's coming out. Really excited. It always looked fun. People always said great things about it, so I'm excited for that one. That's I want to get it on day one, but I'm thinking I'm going to wait to see if about a physical edition, because I want it physically. The artwork, I think, will look great on a box, and so that's what I want. So yeah, Cuphead. Probably the game of the month for me. Okay, so coming out on the 23rd, Dragon Dogma, Dark Arisen. Uh, that one looks like, you know, Oblivion to me. Like, I've never played the game, but it reminds me of, like, Oblivion, Elder Scrolls, you know, games like that. It looks fun. I love my medieval games. So, for me, that one looks like one I'm going to try, just because, you know, I want to try to support the third-party games, so that way they come over more often. Um... So, for me, on this list, it's just, it reminds me of Oblivion, which I put, I beat it on the PS3, I beat it on the Xbox 360, all the downloadable content. 
Uh, yeah, I put in probably 200 hours into that game easily, just getting lost and walking up mountains and picking up plants of all over. So you know what? Uh, this game kind of reminds me of something from that period that uh, I look ex I look forward to and excited to play. So yes, Dragon Dogma. Okay, so let's move on. Last but not least, uh, there's two games coming out at the end of the month. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, I'm kind of excited, but that's kind of my, you know, almost made the list. But the big one, not the big one, but the last one on the list that I really want to play, it seems simple, but it looks fun. Uh, Box Boy and Box Girl. Uh, it just looks like a great little puzzle game. I love my puzzle games. So, to me, it's a small little game, looking game, simple looking game, but it looks like it's going to be fun. So that kind of rounds out the month for me. I feel like April has some great games that, you know what, if you don't look at each month separately, games kind of get lost. So... I'm glad I looked at uh, April's list, and there's tons of games to look at. So let me know, guys, what do you think that you're excited for? Uh, what games really stuck out to you? And what games did I leave off the list that I probably should take a look at? All right, everybody. Have a good night. Keep on gaming, and I'll catch you next time.